I've dove deep into the patch notes, Reddit, and even the data mines to find all those little small things that you didn't even know were part of the update. There's some stuff in here that you're definitely going to want to hear, so sit back, subscribe, and enjoy the video. It's probably worth revisiting the B57 because it now has a 20mm cannon as an unlockable modification. The Tornado has received this tinted cockpit. I wonder if we'll see this kind of graphic come to the other jets in the game. Apologising for team killing now allows the other player to accept your apology. As long as you're not carrying some large amount of ground attack ordnance like bombs or rockets and haven't attacked any enemy ground units, the AI anti-aircraft guns in the middle of the map in Air Realistic and Air Arcade will not fire at you, which I think is a really positive change and will stop those situations where AI just completely ruin the dogfight for you. The T2 and T2 Early have now got a better missile, the AIM-9P, although the plane still lacks severely needed flares. The F-84Fs and Voltors have lost their air spawn in Air RB, which seems a little bit unfair considering these vehicles were already struggling a bit. Although if you plan to fly the American version of the F-84F, you still get your air spawn. Squadron vehicles now have the Golden Eagle price directly displayed, presumably to help Little Timmy realise that it is actually something he can buy. Another quality of life change in Air Realistic is that the AI ground attack aircraft now spawn in after a two minute delay, which should help clear up what radar contacts are actually enemy and not. Excitingly, the F6Fs have now got access to bigger bombs as well as the A2D. The F6F can now carry a £2,000 bomb and the A2D can carry a £4,000 bomb. Normandy and Fields of Poland have had some pretty significant changes to the maps. It's going to take some time to figure out exactly how I feel about these changes, but considering Fields of Poland is one of the most hated maps in the game, I'm really hoping it's positive. At least for Gaijin's sake. You have to tell me in the comments what you think about the new stat cards, but personally, I'm not too much of a fan. What's interesting though is that on the new stat card for the PBY, it isn't consistently in the water. And I really hope they fix the LA-174 because that's just horrendously off centre. And I guess while we're chatting about it, the Focke-Wulf 190A4 for some reason is facing to the left. 3D decorations can now be hit and destroyed on vehicles, so bush wookie vehicles like this aren't going to be so overpowered anymore. With accurate enough shooting, you're now able to supposedly destroy and detonate suspended weaponry from underneath enemy aircraft. It's supposed to look something like this from Gaijin's trailer, but I couldn't replicate it. Short little interactive videos have been added to the modifications to demonstrate exactly what each modification does. When you're interacting with ships in protection analysis, you now have the option to select an aircraft, but rather disappointingly, you don't have the option to select bombs or rockets. The early Spitfires, and arguably the most iconic ones, have had their cockpits updated to nice high resolution ones. So, simulator players in particular, but to be honest, anyone is going to be pretty happy with this update. The Russian server in the selector has been renamed to CIS. Is this the Confederacy of Independent Systems? If you're one of the seven people who actually play naval, you can now select which nation flag you want to display on your mast. And there's even the option to be a pirate. Maybe this is with the intent of giving out flags as rewards in naval events. The 109K4 has finally received some sort of ground attack ordnance and now has a 500kg bomb. When your loader was taken out, previously your reload would completely reset. However, now, assuming you've made it a decent way through the reload, there'll be a short delay and your reload will continue. For vehicles with excessively long reloads, this certainly is a really nice buff. Now, I don't really know what guys are thinking here. There's an absolutely insane buff on the AJ37. It's going to have to go up in BR. The AJ-37 now has 120 kilogram bombs. 